you will have a paper that looks like this. This is your language paper. And at the top, it says, choose one word, one word work activity to complete and share it with your teacher. So again, we already did the make the words using the movable alphabet. So what you could do is you could continue to use the movable alphabet to spell the words and take a picture of the work to send it to your, your teacher. Or you could write your words um, in, like in a freestyle. So there could be like bubble letters or if you do dots, I know that's kind of hard to see it, but there's dots. You can do it in cursive or any other type of fun fonts that I will be including here in a few lessons, okay? You can also have an option to type the words maybe on a Google document or um, in, a, in a Word document and then send the send a picture of your work to your teacher or upload it, I'm sorry, upload it to Canvas. Or you can write your words in like a pyramid, pyramid type writing, okay? So that's a word work activity that you could do, all right? And something that you may understand or remember from the classroom is to write the word in print and cursive and then draw it, the picture, um, in the squares. So just like there are six squares here, here it is, um, the words and pictures that will go on it, okay? So that would just be, you know, writing queen in print. First, excuse me, put your name. You always want to make sure you put your name on your paper. And by this time, um, making sure to put the date on your paper. You want to start working on that. Put the date on your paper, okay? And it can be in cursive or print. All right, so print, I would put queen. So working on my handwriting. And then I would also write it in cursive. Uh -oh. You can always use your eraser if you make a mistake. That's why I always say to use your pencil first and then you can go back and do color pencils. You can make it like these colors or you can do the red and black, okay? Especially if we're just working on the qua sound, do red and black on QU, all right? And then I would do my best to draw a picture of a queen. And it does not have to look exactly like this picture. You can um, draw a picture of a queen the best way you know how, okay? So this would be working on your drawing skills in I, let's see. We'll probably go back and make some adjustments. But as you can see, I'm focusing on my work and making changes as I see fit. And then I will try to draw some type of crown. <laughs> the best that we can, all right? So um, just have fun with it. All right. And I will hopefully show my artwork another time. All right? Yeah queen <laughs> and then again you will you know continue with the words print and cursive all right and draw pictures so that would be the front side of the pa uh, the the paper okay thank you so much for joining my lesson and i will show you all the next activity for phonemes